Now we've got our last and final one on our flower um, buttonholes. Like I said, we've got some more exciting um, tutorials coming up later on on the use of buttons and feathers and materials, things like that. But for now, we're going to look at our modern one. So for our modern one, I've got a Bobberton Daisy or otherwise known as a Gerbera. I've got some lily leaves, um, but you can use any other type of very thin grasses just as long as you can flex it very nicely. Um, it's not going to crack or anything like that. And then for this one, I'm going to use some wire that we haven't used in the others, and that's our florist wire. I'm going to just show you the bunch together um, because this is a bit difficult to see. And you can again buy this at any flower shop. Um, but I would suggest that you go to a flower wholesaler and buy it in bulk as this can become very expensive if you have to buy them one, per, um, one at a time instead of in a pack. And the wire we're going to use just to um, keep our little head from flopping over to the front um, later on. I think most of you know when you are working with a Barberton Daisy, um, before it's even withered, the head starts fall, um, falling to the front. So the wire, what we're going to do with the wire is we're going to put it into the head and that's just going to keep it upright. And that also makes it very nice if you want to bend it a little bit, maybe tilt it to the front or tilt it to the back. So, okay, we're going to again start with our desired length or just a little bit longer. And then what you want to do is you can thread it through the whole of the um, flower if if you had a situation where you have to where you see the whole flowers um, stem then you can um, push it through from the bottom through um, to the top but for this purpose it's not necessary so what I do is I take it from the top here and I take my wire And you can see it starts picking out over here. And then you literally wrap your wire around the stem. Okay, and that's going to keep it in place. And then just remember to cut your wire the top so we can't see it okay and like I said this is a very modern um, theme so we're going to keep it very simple nothing over the top then I'm going to take some of my grasses and I'm going to just make a little hole in the center so I can tear it apart so I just have a few thinner pieces Now you can do actually anything you'd like. You can swirl them, you can twist it a bit, um, or you can create a heart effect. And I think we're going to go with a little bit of a heart effect. Or maybe even a flower effect and this can be tricky just because they keep on jumping around so make sure you've got them nice and secure and another loopy if you want to at this point just to keep them together you can take a little bit of your florist tape and just tape this together so long otherwise they tend to keep on jumping all over the place and that makes it quite difficult to work with
and then we can add our flour, take some more of our tape. it all together. Okay. And then for this one I decided on a little bit of a brown stitched um, ribbon and again you, it's up to you which ribbons you would like to use and again I feel I'll rather just have a little pin there than a bow I don't think a bow really goes with our look of here so we're going to start off with a little knot again again remembering to fold this one downwards so we can wrap over it and we'll take it to our desired length and then take it back up Cut our ribbon neatly and I usually cut my ribbon on a little bit of an angle. It just tends to look neater at the end of the day. And I've got my little pin and you get these pins with crystals and colors. So again, you can decide. I quite like the very simple, just your pull as it's simple glamour. And I've done my little pin and remember to cut it straight. Okay, you see now you can bend the little head slightly so it doesn't press onto our leaves. And there we have our modern looking buttonhole. So if we have a look at the three we just made, all very simple, all very quick. We have our modern one, we have our beautiful traditional one with a rose, and then finally my favorite, the country one. And there we have it. Thank you so much for joining us, and we can't wait to show you the next ones coming up.